how to create your own consent forms using Canva. So this is a program that is absolutely free. I do pay for the pro um, version of this, but you do not have to. The only reason I do is because I use this multiple times a day. I use stock images, all kinds of things, but for the consent forms and a lot of things, it's absolutely free. So check them out for sure. But let me show you how to create a very easy one. So all I did was as soon as I logged into Canva, I put in the search word, um, the search bar consent form, all of these designs pop up. So that's the nice thing. You don't have to create something from scratch. You can just pick something. So let's just pick this one. I'm just going to click it and then you click customize the template. But guess what? Even before I click customize, look, there's more things that pop up. So you will start to see things you didn't even know you needed, but then you're like, oh, that would be super cool. Like for example, a job application form, there's checklists, there's adoption forms, <laughs> you know, all kinds of things. But let's go into this massage therapy client intake form and we're going to customize it for, let's say a teeth whitening business. So you might want to say, Say something like so you just have to click and you can customize anything you want um, I'm just having a hard time clicking right now but let's just try this first I guess so client intake form well that would be the same let's say though you want to change um, the color of this you would then pick whatever color you want let's say you want it to be pink maybe a lighter pink or maybe you want it to be pink but you want it to be not as pink you can go up to this plus sign right here and you can move this around as well to any color you like and see i want to change the text but i can't so if you notice this happens what you have to do is there's something in front of it most likely so i'm going to click this again and i'm going to move it and then i can now click on the text and I can change it. So let's say we want to do teeth whitening, but what if you don't like this font? Well, guess what? You can highlight it and you can go up to the fonts here and change it to any font you like. So let's just change it up completely. Um, you can look, you can click anything you like, and it's all right there. I actually liked the one that they have. I thought that looked the nicest. So I'm just going to keep that. What if you want to keep this pink down here now, or you can move it back up. It's totally up to you. So isn't that nice? And then look at all of these different ones. You can click and you can change what that actually says. Um, it says here therapist. So you could say technician for a teeth whitening technician. I spelt that wrong. There we go. And then you can change it up. Now, what if you liked everything that's here, but let's say you want to change a box color. So just go up here to change the color. Let's say we want to change it to pink. Maybe we want every other box to be pink. What I like about Canva too is what if we did want every box to be pink, but we don't want to have to click individually. Look down here where it says change all from this green color to the pink. Well, yes, we do. So let's just change them all. And that took a whole of one second, right? And then you can even change the bottom here to make it fit to your business signature whatever you want to do. So that's a quick and easy way to make your very own client intake form. Now let's say um, you want to save this, which I'm assuming you're going to want to. I would change the title here so it's easier for you to find it later. You go up to share and you go up to download and then you pick, do you want to save it as a image file, a PDF? If you're saving it as a form, I do suggest saving it as a PDF. It's just easier for printing. That will make it easier to upload to your computer, to your iPad, to your tablet, or let's say you just simply want to post a picture of it on your social media, on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, then you might want to save it as an image file. So let's just say for the heck of it, we're saving it as an image file, and then you would just click download, and it's going to download in like two seconds, even less right to your computer. So see you guys super easy. So have fun with that. Check it out at um, canva.com. Absolutely free to give them a try. So have fun. Let me know if you need anything and thank you so much for watching. If this is helpful, click like, and that would be fantastic. Click like to this video. And if you haven't yet, make sure to hit subscribe as well to see more videos. Have fun, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.